Hi, this is Kate from PageFly. Looking to streamline your page design while providing more content? The accordion element is your solution, and today I'm going to show you how to use it effectively. So firstly, I'm going to show you how to access accordion element. You can find the accordion element in the basic elements section on the left toolbar. There are three accordion variants, choose one for them and then drag and drop on page canvas. Now let's move on to the general settings of accordion element. The first setting is the accordion items. You can use the settings to add new accordion tab, duplicate one, move the accordion tab around, or delete it. The next setting is the accordion icon selector. You can change between three accordion icons and icon positions. Next is the allow multiple expanded items toggle. Enable this feature to allow multiple accordions to be open simultaneously. We'll move on to the default active item drop-down menu. This option allows you to choose an accordion item to make it open by default on live view. Moving on to the enable scroll top toggle. Enable this will allow the page automatically scrolls to the top of an accordion header when users click on it. Three options only work on the live page. Next, I will tell you about general setting of accordion header. Now let's select the accordion header for further adjustment. Here you can edit the header text, anchor text, and toggle the icon visibility. Now let's switch to the styling tab to configure the accordion header. The styling settings for accordion and accordion header are similar, except you can choose the stages for the accordion header. Like a button element, accordion element also has three stages. Let's make some changes here. For other setting below, you can get more details guideline about style setting manual that we noted in the video description. Now, let's move on to the accordion item. The accordion element is a group of multiple content such as heading, paragraph, image. You can edit accordion item by dragging and dropping other elements in it as a normal section. For example, let's add a two-column layout with image in the left and text in the right. You can find out more about the product details element in the description box. Now let's do some styling. Let's publish and test it on live view. Notice that this accordion is open by default because the default active item option is turned on in PageFly. I also turn on the allow open multiple options so that we can open multiple accordions at a time. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe us on YouTube channel to get more new videos. Thanks for watching.